everyone, so today I wanted to do a tag video and it's the perfect palette tag. A subscriber of mine um, sent me a message asking me if I would like to do it and of course uh, my first thought was yes, I want to do it. Um, I think tag videos are really fun and I love doing videos that you guys want to see. So if you have any requests, um, leave them in the comment section because I always read the comments and I almost always do whatever you guys request that I do. So. I will do those videos if you have any that you want me to do. But this is the Perfect Palette Tag and this was very, very hard for me to narrow it down because there are so many that I have that I love. And you know, there's a few, quite a few actually, that I wish I wouldn't have purchased or that I don't really use. Um, one is the best packaging. And I think, hands down, Urban Decay is one of the best brands for packaging. Um, I have a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and I have always been really pleased with them. Now this palette is not a current palette that you can go right now or tomorrow to buy. Um, but I did get an email, I think it was in December, that they were doing, they brought this palette back. I think it was this one that you were able to buy. And um, this one is the Book of Shadows. And I believe this is the number five. And I have this for best packaging for a couple reasons. One, I love all of the bright colors. Two, it has a bunch of butterflies, which I love butterflies. I have butterfly tattoos, so that's kind of why I like it. And, of course, when you open this up, um, it has a nice little mirror. There, as you can see. And then it has, like, these little pop-up butterflies. And I thought that was really, really cute. I know that some people just think that this is just, you know, just junk plastic. But to me, I think it's really pretty. I love the design on it. And um, it has, like, a little pocket for you to put your iPhone or your phone um, as you're watching tutorials, you can just pull the little drawer out and um, you follow along with the tutorials. And it has the little cards for you to do um, to follow. You can scan them with the QR codes and scan them and watch the videos. So I think that the packaging and the concept of this is really cute. Um, without a doubt, this was probably one of the easiest ones to do. Um, it was hand in hand with another palette that I own, but this one is more of a recent purchase and the best color payoff is the Lorac Pro. Hands down this is probably just so incredible as far as pigmentation is concerned. And I'll show it to you. I did a review of this palette um, on my blog and also um, a video as well so I'll link both of those below. Um, my blog definitely has more pictures than the video. Um, I just usually post those pictures in my blog. But this is the colors. You have a great range of neutrals and just colors that really appeal to me. Um, this is very everyday, very basic. I'll just do just some, you know, random swatches. And as you can see, it doesn't really take a lot of um, product to get a nice look. Look at that black. It's really rich and intense. Um, I think this is really great. Um, and the price point for this, I believe, is around 42 for this one, I should have cleaned it before um, showing it to you, but I have been just using this like crazy, and look at this gold. Just incredible, there's like a nice um, highlight shades, there's really great, great colors. And if you want a palette um, that pretty much is a standout and you can just know that every color you're going to get in it is going to be perfect across the board, then the Lorac Pro is the one for you. <laughs> And um, this one, I chose the Urban Decay Vice Palette. Um, throughout this video, you will see that Urban Decay is probably my, my most favorite high-end brand for eyeshadows. I think that they make phenomenal eyeshadows, and I think that they're worth every penny that you pay for them. Um, but I chose the Vice Palette, the original one, not the current one that's out, the Vice 2, which this one is still available, I think, on their website. Um, so it's really cute. It has like this little um, rhinestone. It's so so dirty. So just overlook that. But um, it has a nice little rhinestone UD on there, and it has like a little button that you push. And when you do that, the mirror just like pops open. Now this one has a really great size mirror there, so you can really see your entire face if you're taking this, um, you know, anywhere that you are don't have a mirror or anything like that. This one is really great. But it has a lot of great colors, and the reason why I chose this one is because it has 
a nice row, row here of neutrals, another row of some neutral colors like a gray, a brown, an olive tone, and then of course you have a lot of these really bright funky colors, um, like that beautiful cobalt blue is just gorgeous. Then you have this nice hot pink, you have this purple, you have these teals and these kind of like coppery orangey colors, and you have a nice black in there as well. So I feel like you get a bit of everything in this palette. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is the best palette for travel. This one is, without a doubt, when I read the questions and I saw that question, the first thing that came to mind is the original Naked palette. I have used this like nobody's business. It's a favorite of mine. I got this when it first came out, so I still have the double-ended eyeliner. Um, I have traveled with this over the years, and I still travel with it now. Um, it is, without a doubt, one of the best palettes to travel with. I love the material it's like a cardboard and it has like a nice magnetic closure the mirror is a little bit small but you know I usually don't really pay attention to the mirrors I mean I don't really use the mirrors from the palette to do my makeup so this one is very versatile very everyday completely up my alley as far as color wise um, so this is my most favorite one to travel with <laughs> I honestly don't have one that's current that you can go and look at it and see in the stores. This one I've been holding on to it, honestly I don't really know why, maybe just because of the packaging. I bought this one a couple years ago and it's from the Torina Tarantino brand. And I don't even think that they even sell this brand at um, Sephora anymore, but um, I have a couple things from the brand that I really liked and I've also seen this brand on Hot Look, so if you don't have the app you can download that on your smartphone and you can get access to all kinds of brands there. But I bought this palette um, and I think I paid like 39 bucks for it. I still have the, pla the plastic on the mirror. And these are the colors that are in this palette and honestly I've swatched them a few times to play with them and I've probably used it once and I have not picked it up since then and I've had this for probably about three years if not more, and honestly, I just, I don't know why I got this. I think that was a complete impulse that I really shouldn't have. Names, And this one was very easy um, because this is a newer palette for me. I got this a couple months ago, um, back in, I think in November, October, November-ish. Um, of last year and it's the Too Faced A Few of My Favorite Things and this is just such a great palette just well rounded um, palette but this one has the cutest names ever let me just show you and I use these colors like these blush products almost every day um, but the names um, like a couple of snowflakes whiskers on kitten bush de noel um, blue satin sashes cream colored ponies um, woolen mittens, crisp apple strudel, taffy, coquette, pure glam, party time, ooh la orchid, tinsel, just a really fun names and I love this palette, this is really great. Again, I do have a review of this with swatches, lots of swatches um, and color descriptions and stuff like that. This is crazy pigmented as well. Um, so I have it on my blog, links will be to everything will be below. <laughs> that's my Naked 2 palette. Um, now, I don't know if you guys are wondering, but I do not have the Naked 3. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get that. It doesn't really seem appealing to me, and I don't want to just spend the money just for the heck of buying it. Um, I like the concept of the metal, metal tin. Um, mine has pretty, you know, has lasted pretty well. I mean, it's been, you know, traveled and moved from one house to another. I still have the plastic on the mirror. I'm so terrible about taking those off. Um, I didn't have the brush inside of that. But this one, I mean, it looks pretty darn new. Except for maybe a couple of these lighter shades that you can tell I've used. But honestly, this is probably my least used palette. And I'm, I don't have a reason for that. I just, I've gotten some new ones um, over the last couple months. And um, I just decided to use those. But I actually need to get back into this because I like this palette. It's really, really great. Um, and it has a lot of great, um, like, cool tone colors that I like in this one. I do have a video I did a long, long time ago reviewing this one and the Naked 2. But of course, with the new Naked 3, I'm pretty sure you're seeing people review all three of them and compare them. So, um, tons of people have videos on that. It's a really good palette, and I think you can still buy it now on their website. So, check out the Urban Decay website. I'll put the link below. <laughs> And 
And then, of course, I know I'm going to be repeating on some of these, but my most used, most loved, and Desert Island, I think those were, I'm going to put those all together because this is going to be the same palette. Um, I would have to say it's my Naked palette. Um, I have loved this and used it, like I said earlier, since I first purchased it, and I don't regret it, and I wish that they would still make it with the double-ended eyeliner because... That is just genius to me instead of the brush. Um, I really don't care for the brush that they have that's in the new one. And I think the Naked 3 has it too. Um, but this one has gone with me everywhere. Everywhere. I've even went to California with it. I've gone to visit my family. I have just traveled for the weekend with my husband. And this is one that I always, always take with me. And it's like my holy grail. It's my baby. And I just, I don't know what I'd do if... I ran out of a color because I just, I love it. It's just perfection in every way. I have lots of colors. Um, I used to use, when, I, when my hair was blonde, I used to use this um, Naked and Buck, the two matte browns to do my eyebrows. Um, and, I mean, I, at that point I was just like, wow, I can use this for my eyes and my eyebrows. I mean, that's just really great. But you could do that with the Lorac Pro as well. So, this is probably Desert Island. If I had to pick one out of everything I own, it would be really hard because I do love my Lorac Pro, but I think overall I would go with my Naked palette. So, I love this one. So that's it. There you have it. Those are all of my palettes for the perfect palette tag. If you want to do it, consider yourself tag me. Your responses to the questions in the more, um, more info comment section below, and I would like to see that. Um, if you have like a blog or if you make videos, you can just leave your link to the video that you've posted on YouTube and I can watch it. Um, I would like to see what you guys think of, you know, these palettes, if you have any of the same feelings towards them, if you have any new palettes that you want me to look into. I know that somebody asked me about the Naked 3 already, so that's simmering in my brain. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye everybody.